But I have had other frustrations. My betrothed had an interesting idea, suggesting that we should abstain from sharing the marital bed until after the ceremony. I told her that I believe we're already married enough in the eyes of the Emperor, but she was insistent. Since then, I've been heading out to the lines a lot. Perhaps this is also part of the Emperor's plan, reminding me of the importance of killing the enemies of the Empire. That must be it, because since my betrothed and I have begun abstaining, I only really feel the Emperor's peace when I'm shooting things. Why are they blue, dot PNG? Unfortunately, I'm not supposed to get close enough to the enemy to use my flamer anymore, and my betrothed won't let me use a plasma gun. She says she's worried that if I get any weird gross burns from using one, they may be too hard to differentiate by the Emperor given burns that I received. Instead, I've been using a Mark II call pattern stalker bolt rifle. It honestly would have been too big for me before, but my new arms has given me the strength to wield it. Obviously, this is why the Emperor replaced my arm. I may also use my renewed strength to motivate that barely converted Seneschal to hurry up the wedding preparations. If I had known about my betrothed's purity before marriage idea before, I might have ordered the construction of a town instead of a city. And I swear to the Emperor, if I catch him staring at my betrothed ass again, I'm going to have him castrated. I really, really need to get married. The Sergeant Thorn. It's only been a few days since we landed, and yet things are already starting to get even stranger. Just today I saw the Bishop I keep hearing about from everybody on this planet, only to find out he is a fucking teen with burn marks and a fucking massive arm. That arm would look out of place on a Terminator and much less a kid. I swear that arm should be on one of the Primaris Marines in my company. Doesn't help that the kid's main weapon is something only one of those fuckers can use. From there I saw the magpies engaging in some weird pissing contest with each other over who can loot the most shit from this hellhole. One of those magpies even tried to steal our bone fort. On the topic of bone fort, due to our force usage of corpses as fortifications, we started attracting chaos cults due to them thinking we were one of them. Admittedly at first, it was fun shooting down hordes of traitors. It got annoying when the demons started mistaking us as followers of their degenerate gods. Worse offenders are the Nurgle ones who make the base somehow have a more putrid smell to it. We can't even use fire to cleanse the place of taint anymore due to it likely setting off a chain reaction that will make the base explode. Any attempts to contact the Imperial Fists for actual building materials has gone nowhere since the fucking Phalanx was nearly destroyed again. How that anything is capable of destroying that fort, especially one made with the help of our Primarch, is beyond me. Any hope I had left of this place not being some sort of clusterfuck was when I saw some commissar riding a bane blade to the only bar on this planet just to shoot some deserters along with picking up a future version of himself. Emperor preserve me, Dot Dorn. Be Canon S. If you can't stand the curse of always being right, that is. Pop out into real space near Ludicrum. Find that a fair few of the fleet's escorts are still floating around back in the warp. Maybe they'll turn up in a few days. Or a few hundred years. Or before they left. Or not at all. Immediately attacked by a few wayward Tyranid craft. 
Are they really craft or just very large spacefaring Tyranids? Ponder this over a glass of three of rosé from an observation deck as the fleet engages them. Navying is not my department. With enemy forces already in withdrawal, the planet will make an excellent staging ground for the opening stages of the crusade. Fat fucking chance. Unfortunately, my concerns were downplayed in the course of strategic planning. Watch Imperial forces deploy around this stellar fiasco of a planet. Not just guard and space marine transports, but terraforming project ships as well. Here to pick up the reins on the process accidentally started by setting huge areas of tundra on fire. Admittedly, the Sisters of the Ermine Mantle had a fair hand in that, to say the least. Get to my own lavishly furnished landing craft full Celestian Honor Guard from the Ermine Mantle. Golden Light and Black Sepulchre in tow. Can't wait to see what's been freshly fucked up in my absence. Be Sister Charlotte. Less than a day before Crazy Eyes lands. I have to have the wedding ready to go, like, right then. I know if she has to spend any more time than she has to on it, we're fucked. Thankfully, I managed to convince a nice rogue trader arranged to have one of those portable cathedrals dropped in here. Can't believe how many functionaries I had to convince to get to talk to him, though. Thankfully, there are just a shit ton of volunteers here. Unskilled, but eager. The more technical stuff is a little more difficult, though. I'm going to get the nice laundry ladies to help me with the wedding dress. But the problem is good catering. And it fucking chokes me to say it. But only one person is good enough cook to manage anything with the shit show of supplies we have here. My lot is suffering, but I can't piss off Crazy Eyes at this point when I'm just starting to get in her good graces. Time to talk to that whore Therese. Bitch is a cow, but she is a damn fine cook. She probably learned to do it to try and lay Olga the slut. I bet you can lay Olga if you have a donut on a stick, though. I waste 20 minutes trading passive-aggressive insults with her before finally trading her a ton of recap to do the job. The good shit, too. Fucking crazy eyes better appreciate the work I put into this. Who am I kidding? I fucking love weddings. Also, I have a card up my sleeve to impress crazy eyes. Got a bunch of these lazy fucks to do something useful and carve a statue for the square in front of the Cathedral of Constantia herself. That egotistical cow will just cream herself over it. Go with Therese to check up on how they're doing with that. Get there. Okay. Who the fuck is the sculptor? I am so fucked. The statue is fine, but it's fucking naked. What sort of creative bullshit is this? Fuck artists. My face when I tell Therese to get me a fuck ton of purity seals. We're gonna have to give this statue some modesty. The best we can. Thank the Emperor for purity seals. <laughs>